What's going on guys? I am Switters. I'm going to show you how to get every perk in the game for free. So let's not waste any time. Let's just jump into it. But if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. Let's get into the first one right now. The first one we're going to do is Deadshot Daiquiri. And you can see me pull up my mini map, show you exactly where we are here. The TAC map, excuse me. Zoom in, you can sh see exactly where we are. By the way, the clue to all of these is finding Mr. Peaks, the blue bunny. So I'm just showing you that Mr. Peaks is up here in the bell tower of this church area. Also free 500 points, but there he is. And then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to throw a grenade through the window. I should be more specific. I'm actually going to throw a Semtex through that window. You're going to hop up on this tomb right here, aim, toss it through the window, and then you will get the portal. By the way, there is also an ammo pile out front of this church. So if you miss, you can go and refill your Semtex and do this again and again and again until you get it. Anyways, that's Deadshot Daiquiri. There's the ammo pile. Next up is Death Perception. You're going to have to float through these three rings that you can see here, these giant rings. So we're going to have to jump from someplace high. I'm going to show you that right now. Here is the location on your TAC map. And like I said, we're going to need to jump from someplace very high. So you can see that smokestack right in front of you, right there, that red and white big tower. We're going to climb that all the way to the top. There are two of them. And again, just follow, go to the one I'm going to right now, to the far left. It's quite the long way up. I'm not going to bore you and show you every inch of every step that we go up this ladder, but trust me, this ladder, and then there's another ladder. And finally, we are at the top, and you can see the rings there. Just hop up onto this railing, pull your chute, basically just immediately after you jump off, and then just try to line it up and slowly glide through. That's all. You want to come hit this first ring somewhere near the top of that first ring, but you've got to get in it. You can't be on, you know, go over it and smack right into it. Um, so just, again, it's not that difficult. It seems like it's more complicated than it is. You're fine. Trust me, you'll get it. Next up is PhD, and I'm sure you guys have all been to the Shaheen Manor before. You've probably done a lot of contracts and things there. We're going to head to the roof. This can be actually a little bit, it's kind of maze-like inside the building, but just, again, just go where I go. Just find your way to the top of the building. Jump up, and then onto this wooden structure here. There's the bunny down there. And we're just going to dolphin dive off of this thing and try to land near. You can land in the pool. It's fine. Just land somewhere near the bunny and you should be good to go. And that sound means success. So just go ahead and collect your free PhD. Next up is Quick Revive. And for this, you're going to need a fast vehicle, a quick vehicle. You might say, get a Quick Revive. So for this, we're gonna use the four-wheeler. This is the only vehicle that I've had that has worked, the only one that's fast enough. So if you can find one that works just as well, go ahead and use it. For me, I would recommend absolutely using this four-wheeler. So we're going to go here and this spot of the map. On top of the sign, you can see Mr. Peaks there. So what we're going to do is take our four-wheeler. You can do this from either side. We're gonna go from sign to sign. Use this lane that I'm in. The other lane is blocked a little bit. So you need to get right underneath this sign. You will hear a noise like giving you a buzzer, kind of like. When you hear that, it's time to go. If you don't get right underneath it, it won't go off. So you'll know when it's time to go, when you hear that sign, if you don't hear that sign go off after a couple of seconds, you need to kind of creep forward a little bit and make sure you are directly underneath. But this is the other sign we're going to, and you'll know you got it when there it is. Speed Cola is up next, and unfortunately, I did not get this on the minimap to show you the tack map, rather. So it is the top left portion of the map. You can see Legacy Fortress just straight ahead above me right there. So if you know where Legacy Fortress is, which is clearly marked on your map, you're just looking for this gigantic bird sculpture that we're going to drive up. See the big arrow? You can do this with literally any vehicle, by the way. So just line it up. And at the very top of the beak of the bird is Mr. Peaks. Just make sure you drive over that. You don't have to go a certain distance jumping off of this. You just make sure you have to run over Mr. Peaks and then you land and you will get Speed Cola. Again, top left portion of the map, just below Legacy's Fortress. Juggernaug is up next, and we're looking for this little campsite with Mr. Peaks right there, and we need a Molotov cocktail for this one, and you can see there on the TAC map where it is. Just throw the Molotov onto the campfire, and it will alight, and you will get the portal, and your free Juggernaug will be inside. 
Stamina Up is up next, and this is on the bottom lower left. I'm going to show you on the map, but just showing you that it is the tallest building at the bottom lower left portion of the map. And we're going to have ourselves a little race to the top of this tall building. So you can go exactly where I go here, jump through that window, however you want to get in. It doesn't really matter. Mr. Peaks is right there, but here it is on your tack map. This one is not like Quick Revive. You are not going to get a start signal, a start sound to let you know to go. Just go ahead and line up next to him. Don't just run right through him, like past him, right up the stairs. Just stop, pause down at the bottom, and then just go ahead and start running to the very top. Up all the stairs. There could be zombies here. If you're lucky, there won't be any like I had here. Don't worry. Just try to avoid them and run around them and just keep going. You got to go all the way to the top of this building there are 15 floors so just keep going just keep going and just keep going how many times do you want me to say just keep going while we're going up these stairs oh my god i'm getting dizzy please for the love of god please can we end it right now please just be at 15 here we go Whew. all right well that's it it's a refreshing drink after running up all those damn stairs Tombstone is up next. We're going to be looking at that crane. You'll see in a second why. You need a sniper rifle for this, by the way, with a sniper scope on it. You can't just put like a two-time scope or something like that, like an ELO or whatever. You need to have a legit sniper scope on it or this will not work. But anyhow, I showed you where we were on the tack map and we're just going to head to the roof up this ladder here, out the door. And we need to scope in right where I do there. And there's Mr. Peaks. Boom. Jump scare. There you go. And oh my god, I got taken out by a secret assassin. And that's precisely why you need Tombstone. Just in case a secret assassin comes up behind you and just keeps whacking you over the head while you're trying to look at a blue bunny. Anyways, guys, that's all the perks. And if you're like, hey, that's not all of the perks. There is Elemental Pop as well. And you're like, I've heard something about it being in Tier 3. Well, there is a spot in Tier 3 where there's a flagpole and a grave. And you can go and pay your respects. Press F. To pay respects and you get some of your things back. So if you had like a triple pack of punch gun, you might get a ether crystal back. And sometimes one of the things that you can get back is elemental pop. It seems that that's pretty much the only perk that you can get from that spot from doing that. But you don't get it every time. So it's not a guaranteed perkaholic kind of, you know, free perk. Here you go. So that's why I'm not putting it in here. I still think there actually might be a spot across the map where you can get it every single time you do it, just like every other perk in this video. You guys let me know what you think though. I just don't think Elemental Pop is worth being in tier three. Everything else is in tier one with the exception of Jug being kind of just inside of tier two. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I think everything else was in tier one, I believe. So it doesn't strike me as being tier three worthy. Uh, so anyways, that's it for now. If it does come out that we can find Elemental Pop somewhere, I will make a completely separate video showing you exactly how to do that as well, though. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another one real soon.